I'm Officer Yehoshua with Israel United in Christ with a very important message for the people of Melanesia. Now there's been tons of controversy lately about who are the real Jews? Where are they located? And what do they look like? But I'm here to tell you today that the Bible itself has all of the answers to your questions. And we're gonna answer them today. Now the first question that we wanna answer is where are the Israelites? And as we answer that question, let's find out where is Melanesia? If you're watching this video, I'm sure you already know. But Melanesia is a sub-region of the area largely known as Oceania. And in that region, you can find three main groups, Polynesia, Micronesia, and Melanesia. So let's go to the Bible to answer the question of where would the Israelites be in the last days? Let's start off with the book of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 26. And it reads, I said, I would scatter them into corners. I will make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. Now, the important note that we want to have here is the Bible says that Israelites will be scattered into corners. Now, when I think about the corners of the earth, I think about the top left corner where Alaska is. I think about the bottom left corner where South America is and a lot of water. I think about the top right corner where Russia is. But let's talk about the bottom right corner where we find the islands of Melanesia. Now let's go to the next scripture. Let's go to the book of Isaiah chapter 11, verse 11. And it reads, And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people. Now that's a very important point. The Bible says that the Lord will recover the remnant of his people. Now who exactly are his people? His people are the Israelites. And you know what I wanna do for you? I wanna prove it. Let's go to the New Testament, to the book of Matthew chapter two, verse six. See, we're gonna do what the Christian pastors would never do. They'll never prove anything out of the Bible. They're going to tell you, just pray about it. Just have faith. But the Israelites will tell you what the Bible actually says. So the book of Matthew, chapter 2, verse 6, and it reads, In the New Testament, And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. There you have it. Who are his people? The nation of Israel. And we know that Jesus Christ was an Israelite. What tribe was he from? The tribe of Judah. So let's read on in Isaiah chapter 11. To recover the remnant of his people, which are the Israelites, which shall be left from Assyria, and from Egypt, and from Pathros, and from Cush, and from Elam, and from Shinar, and from Hamath, and from the islands of the sea. So the Bible tells us that the Israelites will be scattered into corners and you will find them in the islands of the sea. Now, typically when you think about the islands of the sea, what do you think about? The Hawaiian islands, maybe. The Caribbean islands, maybe. Maybe even Cape Verde off the western coast of Africa. But we're here to tell you today that God's people are in the Melanesian area in the Melanesian islands. All right, so we talked about where the Israelites will be in these last days. They'll be scattered in corners. They'll be in the islands of the sea. So next, let's talk about what are they gonna look like? If I go to these places looking for the Israelites, who am I looking for? What do they look like? Well, let's start off with Wikipedia. We're gonna go to Wikipedia and find out more about this term, Melanesia. All right, so now we're talking about the etymology and name act ambiguity of Melanesia. So the name Melanesia from Greek, black and island, etymologically means 
islands of black people in reference to the dark skin of the inhabitants. Now I can't wait to take you to the scriptures to show you what the skin looks like of the real Jews, of the Israelites, of the people of the Bible. Now it says the concept among Europeans of Melanesia as a distinct region evolved gradually over time as their expeditions mapped and explored the Pacific. Now don't let these words slip past you. It says that they identify Melanesia as a distinct region. So out of all the people over there, they're saying the people of Melanesia are distinct. They're different from everybody else. Early European explorers noted the physical differences among groups of Pacific Islanders. In 1756, Charles de Brosses theorized that there was an old black race in the Pacific who had been conquered or defeated by the peoples of what is now called Polynesia, whom he distinguishes as having lighter skin. Now check this out. In the first half of the 19th century, Jean Baptiste Bory de Saint Vincent and Jules Dumont de Urville characterized Melanesians as a distinct racial group. Now it's important that we understand why these Melanesians, this old dark race, is a distinct racial group. So let's connect this back to what the Bible says about the Israelites that will be scattered in these corners in the islands of the sea. All right, we're gonna start off with Lamentations. Let's go to the book of Lamentations. In the Old Testament, chapter four and verse eight, and it reads, their visage, now the word visage means their face the way that they look. It says their visage is blacker than a coal. The Bible says that the face of the Israelites is blacker than a coal. And we're reading about the Melanesians and how they're this old, dark, and distinct race. Well, what does the Bible say about the race of people that God chose that will be scattered into corners, that will be in the islands of the sea? The Bible says that they would have a face that is blacker than a coal. And what does Melanesia mean? It means islands of black people. I hope you're connecting the dots. Now let's read another scripture. Let's go to the book of Job chapter 30, verse 30. And it reads, my skin, you hear that? My skin is black upon me. So further proven that the people of this book right here are black. They're an old, dark race. That's what the Bible says. My bones are burned with heat. Let's get another scripture just to further prove the point. We're going to go to Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. It says, Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof languish. They are black unto the ground and the cry of Jeru Jerusalem is gone up. Now we're going to go ahead and put the nail in the coffin with this one. The last scripture I'm going to show you about what that old dark race looks like according to the Bible, that same race that was scattered into corners, that same race that can be found in the islands of the sea. Let's talk about one of their ancestors, King Solomon. In the book of Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. Listen good. I want you to listen good. I am black. You see what Solomon just said? King Solomon said, I am black, but comely. Comely means beautiful. O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kedar, as the curtains of Solomon. So now we understand where the Israelites are. We know what they look like. So now let's talk about one particular group that we can specifically identify as the real Jews. Let's talk about the people of the Solomon Islands. Now we just read a scripture that told us what King Solomon looked like. King Solomon out of his own mouth and his own writings says that he was black. And now we find 
an island or a group of islands named after a black man himself, King Solomon. And guess what the people look like on this island? They look just like King Solomon because they are black too. Now you might ask yourself, okay, well I, I read those scriptures about the islands of the sea and they're being black, but I never knew the Israelites to travel the world by way of ship. Well, guess what? I'm gonna show you according to the Bible that the Israelites were very familiar with the seas. So again, let's let the Bible prove every point. We're going to go to the book of first Kings chapter nine, verse 26. And it reads, and King Solomon made a Navy of ships. King Solomon had a Navy. Did you know that King Solomon had a Navy? It says, and King Solomon made a Navy of ships in Ezion Geber, which is beside Eloth on the shore of the Red Sea in the land of Edom. And Haram, Haram was a Hamite king that was in league with King Solomon. They had uh, business dealings. Um, they did a lot of things together, uh, getting certain types of wood, things for the temple. You can read about that history in the Bible. All right, it says, and Haram sent in the Navy his servants, shipmen that had knowledge of the sea with the servants of Solomon. Haram sent shipmen with Solomon's navy, and guess what they did? They went all throughout the earth. But let's continue reading. Verse 28, and they came to Ophir and fetched from thence gold, 420 talents, and brought it to King Solomon. Now, there's a mystery behind the land of Ophir, that its location is really unknown. But what do we know about the Solomon Islands? We know that there is actually gold in Solomon Islands. So all arrows point back to the Bible, which show us that the people of Melanesia, that old dark race is who? You are the Israelites. So what did we learn today? We learned the answers to all the controversial questions about who are the Israelites? Where can we find them? And what do they look like? Well, number one, the Israelites are black. They are that old dark race. Number two, where can we find them? The Bible says that the Israelites will be scattered to the four corners of the earth and to the islands of the sea. So what must you do? You must wake up, return back to God as the real Jews of the Bible, as the real Israelites, and keep his commandments.